Hi everyone, it's Catherine Litt, your Reader's Reporter from the Kamloops Daily News. I'm here at Riverside Park on a mission to answer a question from Daily News reader Shelley Halleck and her niece Jasmine. They would like to know why when you stand in the middle of the labyrinth that's just right behind me uh, and clap your hands, the air makes a squeaking sound similar to basketball shoes on a basketball floor. Okay, so we have to... Like yeah, it kind of does. Can you hear it? So what do you think explains this? Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> the one idea is that when you clap, you generate a wave and it goes out to the whole area here. And of course it's circular. So we kind of expect circular things to bounce everything back to the middle. So the effect is biggest in the center of the circle. It's called a pitch by repetition. And the idea is the sound goes out and it gets reflected back by the stones right where you are, but it arrives a little bit later than the clap. So if I clap my hands, the sound goes to my ears. It goes everywhere, but of course it goes to my ears. It also goes out there and then comes back. When it comes back, it adds up to the sound coming from the original clap. And it's the time delay because the sound that's going out and back has to travel farther, it takes a little bit longer. Um, so the one theory of uh, pitch repetition um, is that it's the sound delay that causes this uh, change in frequency. So this is showing the really small sizes of these ridges that are apparently reflecting the sound back towards the listener. As you go up in frequency, the wavelengths get shorter and shorter. So if, if one imagines that uh, sound travels at about 300 meters per second, a 100 hertz wave has a wavelength of about 3 meters. So when you clap and you hear that squeak, part of me is saying that it's, it's a natural filtering that's going on here and that the ridges, because of the size of the blocks here, you're only getting back uh, the high frequencies anyway. So, of course, I have two competing theories in my mind and now I have to go home and and try and work out which one is actually correct.